What do you have planned for us tonight, anyway? Mm -mm, it's a surprise. You're not even gonna give me a hint? No way. <laughs> Why not? Because I want it to be perfect, Danny. You're perfect. You deserve a perfect surprise. I was just thinking... After we do your special thing... Maybe we could go somewhere. Did you have some place in mind? Some place we can have sex. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Are you having a happy Valentine's Day? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this has been the best day of my life. you doing all alone on Valentine's Day? I'm waiting for my date. Bye-bye. What the hell are you doing in here? And what do you think you are doing with my son? You want to have sex with me, don't you? Yeah, but only if you want to. I do. I mean, you've done it before, and you've waited all this time for me to say that, that I'm ready. So I'm saying it. I'm ready. Okay. And hey, it's it's Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> yeah, but... Are you sure you're ready? Ooh. Hey, bro, we were just, um... Uh, no, 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 that's okay, I, I got it. You know, Bobby's out with Langston, so... Why don't I clear out and you guys can have the whole place to yourself? Oh, no, don't do that. We won't want to kick you out. Yeah, man. We... No, 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 seriously, don't worry about it. It's not like I've got anywhere to be. You listen to me, Star Manning. You are not a loser. I'm an unwed mother whose baby's father is in prison for murder. I'm beyond loser. Sweetheart, I'm not going to let you think of yourself as a loser. You're just going through a bad stretch, and that is going to make a turn. Everything's gonna get better, I promise you. I'm not holding my breath. But you have fun tonight, okay? You look beautiful. Thank you. Stop! Oh. I am so glad you're here. That creepy guy over there keeps trying to hit on me. <coughs> okay, well, it's Valentine's Day. You're alone right now. He probably figures that you're desperate enough to give him a shot. Anyway, um, what are you doing here? My mom forgot her sheet music at home for a love song, which is the last thing I want to hear right now. Oh, come on, it might not be that bad. James and Michelle are probably dancing to one right now at her stupid sorority thing. Yeah, try not to think about that. It's easy for you to say. You have... Ford. Where's Ford? Tonight's supposed to be your big night. I guess he got held up. I don't know. I, I'm, I just kind of found myself in here. How did you get in? Well, I, I would have knocked, but the door was unlocked. You just let yourself in? I've got you. Breaking and entering, trespassing. Look, I, I know, Clint, you can't switch the DNA test. This is my son. This is my son. Hey, baby. Mine and Jessica's. And what are you doing here? I have rights. <laughs> Rights, rights. You didn't want to have anything to do with this baby, and now you got rights. That was before I found out that I might be this baby. You are nothing to this boy. And the sooner you get that through your thick skull, the better. I thought you were going to that dance with Michelle. Nope. Is it because of Star? I mean, she's the one you want to be with, right? Star's not available. She never has been. I've just been kidding myself this whole time. So, 
How did you and Star get together anyway? I have something in my eyes, you know, uh, allergies. <laughs> yeah, me too. Thank you. When James and I met, it never even occurred to me that I could be with someone other than Cole. Maybe I should have just listened to myself and steered clear of James. Especially after everything started going crazy wrong. Not again! What, one kidnapping wasn't enough? That was the second time I kidnapped her. I was just trying to protect her from Bull, but, uh... Turns out, I was the one she needed protecting from. I mean, it's no wonder nothing's ever really gone right for us. Just one disaster or after another. It's... That's not a disaster. That's romantic. You used all the hard work. It was just one disaster after another, and I've just been kidding myself. Things would have never worked out between James and me. You know what? I actually believe that things could work out between me and Star. Not that it matters now. It's Valentine's Day, and I'm just thinking about Cole. Not that it matters now. It's Valentine's Day, and James is with Michelle. You could still change your mind. Not like it's gonna change everything else. So do something about it. Who cares if he's at some stupid dance with Michelle? Or even if he did sleep with her. Just tell him that you broke up with Cole and that you want to be with him. Langston, what am I supposed to say? James, I know you're on a date, but I just wanted to let you know that I broke up with Cole to be with you. Happy Valentine's Day. I don't really care what you say as long as you tell him. The two of you have been through way too much stuff. Yeah, I shot him and I buried him alive. And he still loves you, so you have to let him decide who he wants to be with. You guys have way too much history. More than that, you have a real relationship. It's Winkle. You shoot a guy? Yo. I don't know. I, I used to think that... Star and I had this intense connection, you know, but she always went straight back to Cole. And she always will. But she can't. Not while he's in prison. At some point, Star's gonna realize that. Maybe. But her heart will always be with Cole, even if she tries to convince herself it's not. I want someone to hold me and to hear his voice in my ear. You want that song to be cool. And for as long as he's in prison, I will have to live without those things. James and I do have a relationship. It's called friendship. And I want him to be happy, even if it's with Michelle. Listen, man, I, I know it must have been tough for you to find out that this is not your son. You don't know anything about it. Now, I have told you, Ryder is my son. Now, you get the hell out of here. I will go. In a minute. You will go now. Get your hands off me. You were lucky I don't haul you in for attempted kidnapping. Listen, you can have that badge all you want, but that is my son in there, and there's a DNA test to prove it. You think I give a damn what some test says? I christened that boy. We named him after my grandfather, and you were gonna have nothing to do with him. You understand? Actually, I think I'm gonna take this up with Jessica. After all, Ryder's her son, not yours. All right, all right, all right. The only reason you're this baby's father is because you practically raped Jessica when she wasn't in her right mind. And if you think I'm gonna let you anywhere in your Jessica or our boy, you're dead wrong. All right, you guys, thanks for listening, but enough's enough. It's Valentine's Day and it's almost over, and I'm sure you guys have things that you'd rather be doing. Oh, yeah, um, Nate and I were actually just about to go out, right? Nate? Right. Out. Oh, are you sure you guys don't want to just no. stay? It's no. fine. Thanks. So, I'm, 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 I'll be right back, and then uh, we can go out. Huh. So, what's with all those looks? <sighs> Danny wants tonight to be the night. <laughs> wow, good for you guys. Yeah. Looks like I'm gonna be the only unlucky Ford brother tonight. The 
Did you try Ford's landline? They got rid of it to save money. Star, I'm starting to really get worried. What if something happened? Ford has a lot of enemies, and one of them Listen, already beat I'm up. I'm sure by... he's just out buying you some big, amazing present. He better not be spending any more money on me. It's enough that he rose to the challenge. So to speak. Oh, very funny. When Ford and I got back together, I needed him to prove to me that he wanted to be in it for me, not just to keep messing around. And to be quite honest with you, I wasn't very optimistic. But he made it. He did. It's like there's this whole other side of him. You should have seen him with Hope. He was adorable. Turns out he's great with kids. Who knew? You think you're that boy's father? Let me tell you what a father is. I was with Jessica through her whole pregnancy. I took care of her when she was on bed rest. I was with her when our son was born, when we didn't even know if Ryder was going to make it. Jessica and I survived that together. So never, never tell me I'm not that boy's father again. Okay, it's uh, time for me to have my date with my bad movie and uh, the rest of yesterday's pizza. So you kids have fun and be safe, okay? Bye. So, where to? You can't go to my place, my mom's home. Uh, we can go to my place. Great. She, because I have this death wish. My mom called, and my dad and her are staying in New York for the night. We can be alone. No, wait, wait, what are you going to do? What else? I'm going to find Ford and get his butt over here. No one is going to stand up my best friend. This punk broke in. Hey. Hey, you're Robert Ford, aren't you? You're not going to show me. I'll get right here again. I want to see you around here again. Touch me. You sure you're ready? Yes. I'm sure. I mean, I know I wasn't before when you wanted to. <sighs> but I am now. Really. I'm not a little girl. And I know what I'm doing. I'm all grown up. I've noticed. You are smart and funny and amazing and hot. No, oh, not so bad yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what are we waiting for? Forget this. I'm gonna go find Star. What is your problem? What's your problem? Go away. I don't need you, Tess. Go away! When I open up my eyes, you'll be gone. So where's your date? He's not here yet. But he? You're, you're with a guy now. Okay. All you need to know is I will never be with you. Lord, where are you?
Jessica. Valentine's Day, I'll remember forever. You don't want to know what happens to people who threaten me. My name's not Jessica. 